Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> Uh, Mr. Uh, Horwitz, let me pick up right where the gentleman from Florida was. Uh, and I appreciate the letter you sent to uh, Chairman and Ranking Member last Friday on the upcoming FISA report that is now at, with the Attorney General. Um, but let me, let me go first to what Mr. Stubbe just talked about. Have you been asked to testify uh, by, the chairman, uh, by Chairman Cummings or Chairman Nadler about the, the Comey IG report you released three weeks ago? Um, no, I'm not. Have you been approached at all by the, the chairman of those respective committees? Personally, I have not. I can check with anybody else in my organization, but I'm not aware of any. Have they, have they been asked you about it? Oh, I'm sure they've asked about it. But they, I'm I mean, sorry, ask, about about you, about ask about you testifying and answering questions about that specific report. About a hearing, I don't no believe hearing. there have been discussions. Have you had any discussions with Chairman Cummings or Chairman Nadler about the upcoming FISA report, particularly subsequent to this letter, or even before this letter, um, about the FISA report when you might testify in front of either committee? Um, we haven't had, to my knowledge, discussions about um, testimony or, or a hearing. But We've you had would, discussions generally about the report and timing, but not about I the think in your, in your letter you point out you talked to uh, over, looked, uh, over 100 interviews, over a million records your, your team examined. Uh, you spent a lot of time on this report. This is pretty significant. You would anticipate testifying in front of both the House Oversight Committee, which has jurisdiction over the Inspector Generals, mm -hmm. and the House Judiciary Committee. Is that right? Um, I guess on, I would say as to any of my reports, I always um, am available and willing to testify. Um, I'm not sure I'd want to um, advocate for being in four hearings, two here and two on the Senate side. So. Well, we combined them last year, a uh, year and a half ago, yes. on one. We, we did that. So all I know is I think, as, as Mr. Stubbe said, this is important information, and frankly, the American people would like to see it. Let me go, if I could, to um, the recent IG report about Mr. Comey's leaked, uh, leaked memos. And I want to I read from it. I'm, I'm talking about, on page 17 of your report, January 7, 2017, memo number one. And you say Comey first, uh, uh, Comey's first one-on-one -on meeting, one -on -one meeting with President Trump occurred on January 6, 2017. Is that right? That's right. And before briefing President, I'm reading from your report, before brief briefing President-elect Trump, Mr. Comey met with senior leaders at the FBI, Jim Rabicki, mm -hmm. Andy McCabe, Jim Baker, and supervisors of the FBI's investigation. Is that right? Again, I don't have it in front of me, but that's my report. Yeah, so he has a pre-meeting. <clears throat> They're going to go up to brief President-elect Trump. Right. January 6, 2017, so it's President-elect Trump at the time. They have a pre-meeting to figure out what, how this is going to go. And actually, even more of a pre-meeting they have with Mr. Clapper and Mr. Brennan to figure out how exactly the briefing for the President-elect is going to happen. Is that right? And who's going to do it. And who's going to do what. Right. right. And they break it into two parts. All of them brief the President-elect on general assessment, uh, intelligence assessment, the ICA. And then they all leave, and Mr. Comey sits down with the President. Is that right? Um, that's my recollection, yes. Um, so Mr. Comey sits down with President-elect Trump and talks to him about what? Um, again, I don't have the report in front of me, but my recollection is what we were told is it's about the what has come to be known as the salacious and unverified reporting about um, certain events in Moscow. Witnesses interviewed by the OIG also said they discussed Trump's potential responses to being told about the salacious information in the dossier, including that President Trump might make statements about or provide information of value to a pending Russia interference investigation. Is that right? That's my recollection. Yeah. So, he, so Comey stuck around and briefed him on the dossier. Well, on, and, that, on that one piece understand, of my recollection. I understand. Um, so what I'm interested in is, is we always thought that this meeting was to give the president the intelligence assessment and, and fill him and give him a briefing. He's president-elect. Um, but it now looks like, based on what you wrote at the bottom of page 17, that they included trying to get information on the pending in Russia interference. So it wasn't just information going one way. They were actually trying to get information from the president as well. Is that right? That's what we've reported. That's different. That's different. That's something I don't think we knew before. Multiple FBI witnesses recalled agreeing ahead of time that Comey should memorialize this event after it happens, right? Right. So he gets in the car on the way home, and he immediately starts memorializing what took place. It's interesting. One of the things that he said, the reason they did this was because they thought the president-elect might misrepresent what happened in the encounter. 
Remember that from the report? Uh, vaguely. Yeah. Again, I'd have to. It says it on page eight, 18. I think that's, a, that's, that's amazing to me because the irony was the only one misrepresenting anything, it seems to me, was Mr. Comey. Because all the while he's trying to get information from the president about the pending investigation, he's been telling the president he's not even under investigation. I thank the gentleman. Uh, if Mr. Horowitz, you want to respond. No, I, I have no, nothing further to say. I would stand by our report. Could I ask one question, Mr. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Mr. Horowitz, was, was President Trump under investigation at the time that this all happened on January 6th? Um, I don't know that I'm in a position to say one way or another. I've read what the memos say and what Mr. Comey in the memos reported he represented to the President that the President was not, or the President-elect at the time. He'd in not. fact been told by the very guy who had to memorialize this conversation, was trying to get information from the President, that he wasn't in. Right. In fact, under investigation by that very individual. Yeah, I think, I, and all I can speak to is what is in what the memos. Said, what was said, I don't know independently what was going on in the investigation. Thank you. At that time. I, I thank that the gentleman. Uh, the distinguished friend.